Hello, my dear students. Welcome you all to the brilliant group of institution. Today we are here to discuss the most important MCQ for the chapter Solid State, the first chapter in your grade 12. So let's begin from the first question. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start from question number one. Which of the first we can discuss the NCRT, the exemplar questions, okay, most expecting type of question. Which of the following is not a characteristics of a crystalline solid? You studied that. Mainly the solids are classified into two, crystalline and amorphous. Crystalline solids are said to be true solid. They are uh, having a sharp melting point because of the long range order and they are anisotropic in nature, is or no? So which of the following is not a characteristics of crystalline solid, not a property? First option itself, right? They are isotropic in nature. No, crystalline solids are anisotropic in nature. Correct. Option A is the correct answer. Second, which of the following is an amorphous solid? Which of the following is an amorphous solid? You know, amorphous solid example, you know, graphite. You know, graphite is a crystalline solid. Chrome, alum, silicon carbide, all are belongs to the only one quartz glass you know glass mainly glass is belongs to which one amorphous one. amorphous one you know if, if you cut you know the what is the main property of a amorphous solid if you cut a amorphous solid with a sharp edged tool you cannot say you cannot say where it is going to break what is the shape of the newly forming crystal or the for the compound the structure because it's having a very short range order correct so glass, the major thing is what glass, quartz glass, that is the only one, is amorphous in nature here. Third question, which of the following is true about the value of refractive index of quartz glass? We just said now, quartz glass is belongs to which category? That is an amorphous, right? That is an amorphous solid. All right. In an amorphous solid, what is the speciality we discussed here all? The amorphous solids, they are isotropic in nature. Amorphous solids are isotropic in nature. Amorphous solids are isotropic in nature. Correct. Why isotropic in nature? What is the meaning of isotropy? If you are calculating some physical properties, if you are calculating some physical properties like electrical resistance or refractive index, if you are calculating the electrical resistance or refractive index of a compound, if you are calculating through different direction, you will get the same value. If you are calculating through different direction, when you are getting same value, then it is said to be isotropic in nature. So what is the data here all? Which of the following true about the value of refractive index of quartz glass? Quartz glass is an amorphous solid. Amorphous solids are isotropic in nature. Isotropic mean when you calculate the physical property, you will get different values with the same, different direction, you will get same values. Different direction, same value. What is the answer? Same in all direction. If it is different in different direction, that is called an isotropic, that is in crystalline solid. Okay, shall we go to the next one? Which of the following statement is not true about amorphous solid? Not true, not true about amorphous solid. Option A, amorphous solids can be molded by heating. Yes. They may become crystalline on keeping for a long time. Yes. They are anisotropic in nature. No, crystalline solids are isotropic in nature. Option 3 is the correct answer. Next one. The sharp melting point, the sharp melting point of crystalline solid is due to, you know, in crystalline solid, in crystalline solid, the particles are well arranged for a long distance. Throughout the crystal, the particles are well aligned, well aligned, therefore it is having long range order. So the why sharp melting point of crystalline solid? Why crystalline solids are melting at a sharp point, sharp temperature? Because we can say they are having a regular arrangement of constituent particle over a long distance. Option third, fourth one. Option D is the correct answer. Alright, next one. 
iodine molecules are held in the crystals lattice pile. Let me tell you a small theory. You study the solids are classified into two crystalline and amorphous. You may study the crystalline solid. The crystalline solid again classify into four set. Yes or no? One is said to be molecular solid. Second is said to be ionic solid. Third one is said to be covalent or network solid. And what is the last one? That is metallic solid. Correct? Metallic solid. You know what is the meaning of molecular solid? Molecular solid. Molecular solid means the constituent particle or the system is made up of crystal is made up of molecule. Constituent particles are molecule. Ionic solid means they are made up of ion. Covalent or network molecules are made up of atoms. The crystal is made up of atom. Metallics are made up of you know kernels of that metallic particle metals. Molecular solid again we are classified into three set right or not? First one is said to be non-polar molecule, second one is said to be polar molecule, third one is said to be hydrogen bonded molecule. Correct. Non-polar molecule, what is the meaning of non-polar molecule? You know, non-polar, non-polar molecules are connected through very weak force of attraction. What is that? That is called dispersion. Dispersion or it is said to be blended force. Dipole, so polar molecules are connected through which bond? Dipole, dipole interaction. Hydrogen bond molecules are connected through hydrogen bond. Okay. And what about ionic bond? Ionic compounds are connected through ionic bond. It is also known as electrostatic force. Covalent molecules are connected through covalent bond. Metallic molecules are connected through metallic bond. Example is the most important in this classification. Okay. What is an example of non-polar molecule? You know, iodine, hydrogen, CCL4, carbon dioxide, all these are non-polar species because their dipole moment is zero. All these systems are belongs to non-polar solids. What about polar solid? You know, HCl, sulfur dioxide, these are polar molecules. Hydrogen bonded molecule, only one example given in textbook, that is water, not water, we are dealing with the solid state, therefore ice. Where we can identify or what is an example of an ionic solid, only the example we can study, sodium chloride, you know, ionic one. Covalent or network, the main example is, you know, SiO2, SiO2. Then other one carbon, simply if they given carbon in this question, it's not meaning as carbon as an element, it's indicate either graphite or diamond. Okay, it can be graphite or diamond. Diamond. All these are belongs to which one? Covalent. Quartz. Quartz everything belongs to this one. Covalent or network. What about metallic? Their constituent particles are metal like iron, cobalt, etc. So these are the one crystalline solid classification. Now let's go to the question. What is the question here all? Iodine molecule. Where is iodine? Where is iodine? Here. Iodine molecules are held together by, you know, iodine is belongs to a non-polar molecule. They are connected through London force or dispersion force. London force or dispersion force. Option number two is here. Next, Next question. Which of the following is a network solid? We just discussed now, network solid examples are silicon dioxide, carbon with the graphite or diamond. What is the answer matching here? Diamond. Which of the following is a network solid? Where we study sulfur dioxide? Sulfur dioxide, all of you see. Sulfur dioxide we study under polar molecule and uh, iodine we discussed under non-polar molecule and uh, H2O ice we discussed in hydrogen water molecule. This table is very important including example. Next question dear all. Which of the following not the characteristics of ionic solid? They are anisotropic in nature. You know ionic solid we study under the category of crystalline solid. Yes, crystalline solids are anisotropic. Very strong force of interaction. You know ionic bond is a stronger bond. Brittle in nature. They are crystalline right? Brittle in nature. They are electrical conductors in solid state. No, no, no. You know, ionic compounds or can 
can mix which one conductivity or electrical conductivity only in the molten state not in solid state that is the wrong statement our correct answer next one graphite is a good conductor of electricity due to the presence of what you know the familiar question in graphite what is the major difference between graphite and diamond the allotrope of carbon in graphite each carbon connected to three carbon atom but in diamond each carbon connected to four carbon atom in a tetrahedral manner you know carbon valency is four so in graphite in graphite there are one carbon at the center it is directly connected to three carbon so one of the electron is vacant this vacant electron or free electron it can conduct electricity so what is answer free valence electron option number two that is the correct answer for why graphite can conduct electricity next question dear all let's go fast and discuss maximum question the lattice site in a pure crystal cannot be occupied by it. what is the meaning of lattice site the site where constituent particles are occupying maybe it is what are the constituent particles constituent particles mean it can be atoms it can be molecules or it can be ions these are the constituent particles Lattice site, the crystal contains so many sites that is called lattice. The lattice site were occupied by only the constituent particle. So, answer is for D, fourth one. Electron cannot occupy in the crystal lattice because in crystal, in order to make a crystal, in order to make a crystal, these sites are occupied by atoms, molecule or ion and making a strong bond between them, making a strong crystal. That's what happened. Electron not can make it such kind of things. Next question. Graphite cannot be classified as a graphite. Graphite cannot be classified as a covalent solid, conducting solid, ionic solid, network solid. Which one? Graphite where we studied carbon, graphite and diamond we studied under crystalline solid under the category covalent or network. Covalent or network. So covalent is possible, network is possible, conducting solid also possible, ionic solid it is not possible. Yes or no? You know graphite can conduct electricity, it's a conducting solid. Graphite we studied under the covalent or network solid. So all 1, 2 and 4 are possible, third one is not possible. Next, cations are present in the interstitial site is which defect? Cations are present in the interstitial site, whether metal deficiency, vacancy, frangle or shocky. You know, metal deficiency defect. Metal deficiency defect means metals are actually missing. Metal is missing. So here metals, you know, positive charge. Here cations are present in the interstitial site. One extra cation. So not metal deficiency. This metal excess. Vacancy defect. No, what is vacancy defect? You know, when a crystal you heat it, some constituent particles are missing, creating some vacancy. That's called vacancy defect. It can be frangle defect? Can be. Because frangle defect, we studied that. What is mean by frangle defect? There will be cation, anion, cation, anion, cation, anion. When you consider what is happening in a frangle defect, the smallest ion, which is the smallest ion generally, cation smallest ion dislocating dislocating from the original site and it is occupying in the interstitial site or void this is called what frangle defect correct or not so this is a we can call it as a cation are present in the interstitial site shock key defect is possible no shock key defect you know that equal number of cation and anions are missing from the original lattice site so that's not correct option c is the correct answer Let's go to the next one. Short key defect is observed in crystal when? What is short key defect? Equal number of cation and anions are missing. Equal number of cations and anions are missing from the lattice. Option 2 is the correct answer. Correct? Next one. What is the total number of tetrahedral void in a FCC system? FCC, you know, phase centered unit cell, FCC. Dear student, we have a simple equation to calculate the number of tetrahedral and octahedral void if you know the number of atom in the unit cell. If there are n number of spheres in the unit cell, there will be 
सेम एन नंबर ऑफ ऑक्टाहेड्रल वॉइड एंड डबल टू एन नंबर ऑफ टेट्राहेड्रल वॉइड व्हाट if there are n number of spheres in your unit cell there will be same number of octahedral void double number of tetrahedral void in the system okay so you just to tell me dear all what is the number of atoms per unit cell in fcc fcc contain total four atom in the unit cell right so how many octahedral void there will be four octahedral void eight tetrahedral void question what is the number of tetrahedral void that is option number 3 8 Okay, let's go to the next one. Which of the following defect are shown by AGBR? We studied in our classes. What are the maximum example for Schottky defect and the Frankel defect? Here all Schottky defect. Maximum study this example. Schottky defect. You know the condition. The cation and anion should have almost similar size. Frankel defect. They should have different size. Correct? Yeah. Schottky defect. The examples are mostly alkali metal halide (NaCl), KCl, cesium chloride, KBr, and one example AgBr. Frankel defect means the cation and anion should have a difference in size, very large difference in size. The thing is mostly silver compound like AgCl, AgBr, AgI. One extra example. Let me give you zinc sulfide. You can see that short key defect and Frankel defect. Only one example is common. That is AgBr. AgBr can show both of the defect. So which of the following point defect are shown by AgBr? That is short key and Frankel. Option A and B. Option four is the correct answer. Okay, A and B correct. Next one. In which a pair most efficient packing is present? We studied packing efficiency. Packing efficiency means in a crystal, what extent, what extent you can pack the crystal by sphere. So the remaining space is said to be what void. The pack, the position is called what? It's packing efficiency. You may study the packing efficiency value since it is an MCQ examination. The derivation something is not required. Just the value is enough. What is the packing efficiency in three system we discussed? First one, FCC. It is also CCP cubic close packing. It is also HCP hexagonal close packing. For all these three system, packing efficiency is you know seventy four percentage. In second system, we study BCC packing efficiency is how much sixty eight percentage. And the last one, simple cubic right? Simple cubic system, it's around fifty two point four percentage. Yes or no? Come to the point all of you where you can identify packing efficiency greater. And one another question: If you know packing efficiency, sometimes they will ask you what is the free space or void. Total, if you consider the crystal is hundred percentage, seventy four percentage in FCC are packed by sphere. So what is the existing remaining remaining uh, volume? Hundred minus seven. If you want to find out the void or free space in a crystal, you just uh, subtract the packing efficiency from hundred. Hundred minus seventy four. That is twenty six percentage. Sixty hundred minus sixty eight. That is thirty two percentage. Fifty two point four. That is from forty seven point six percentage. That's it. Come to the point. In which pair most efficient packing? Most packing you can observe in FCC, CCP, HCP. What is that? What is that? HCP and CCP is there. All right, fine. HCP and CCP, fine. Cubic close packing and hexagonal close packing. Next one. What is the percentage of empty space? Which means what they are asking you void. Okay. What is the percentage of empty space in body centered cubic? I told you in the previous question. In body in BCC, sixty eight percentage is the packing efficiency. So what is the free space? Hundred minus sixty eight. That is thirty two percentage, right? So the packing. Uh, what is the percentage of empty space in body center? That is thirty two percentage. Next one. Which of the following statement is not true about the hexagonal close packing HCP? Actually, hexagonal close packing we studied under two dimension as well as in three dimension. Okay, let's go. And one more term, let me tell you. In HCP, we discuss in two dimensional HCP close packing. We know the coordination number is equal to six. 
in three dimensional hexagonal closed packing the coordination number is equal to 12 right come to the point the coordination number is 12 can be if it is three dimension in this arrangement spheres of the fourth layer are exactly aligned with the those of the first layer question which is not true okay just to wait option number three it has 74 percentage packing efficiency yeah FCC, CCP, XCP, all of them 74% is the packing efficiency. Tetrahedral void of the second layer are covered by the sphere of the third layer. Yes, in three dimensional arrangement, after first layer and second layer, the third layer we are arranging by covering the tetrahedral void of the second layer. So, tetrahedral void of the second layer are covered by the third layer, you will get HCP. Option number 2 is the wrong statement. Why? In this arrangement, spheres of the fourth layer, so they are meaning two dimension. Option number 4, they are meaning three dimension. Option number 2, they are giving two dimension HCP. Because, you know, this is the first row. Okay, first row, one dimension. Let me take the one another row. The second, in order to get HCP, the second row we are arranging in the depression of the first row, right? Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. like that. So, if you name the first layer as A, second layer is not similar, so it is B. Where is third row? Third row is coming in the depression of the second row. It is looking like A row. Then the fourth layer, the fourth layer is coming in the depression of the depression of the third row, it is again B. You know, it is an AB, AB type arrangement. So fourth layer and first layer are not the same. What they said in option two, in this arrangement, sphere of the fourth layer are exactly aligned with those of the first layer. Now they are different. Option number two is the correct answer. Next one. What is the coordination number in a square close packed structure in two dimension? Two dimension, we study two type of close packing, SCP and we have HCP. Square close packing and a hexagonal close packing. Hexagonal close packing we just discussed before. In SCP, you know, this is the one dimensional row where we are arranging the second row and vertically and horizontally exactly above the first row like this. Not in the depression, like this. Third row, exactly about this. So, if you name the first row as A type, all are looking similar. It is A, A, A type arrangement. Because, what is the code? How to find out the coordination number? Coordination number is nothing but number of touching spheres. If you consider any inner sphere, it is directly touched with how many spheres? 1, 2, 3, 4. It's making a square, right? So, what is the coordination number? 4. So in square close packing, coordination number is 4. In hexagonal close packing, coordination number is 6 in two dimension. Why? In HCP, if you consider a inner sphere, it is directly touched with which one? There are 6 sphere, 6 sphere. Therefore, coordination number is 6 in HCP if it is two dimension. Okay? So what is the answer? Answer is 4. What is the coordination number in square close packing in two dimension? That is 4. Next. Which of the following defect is also known as dislocation defect? Very simple question, right? Dislocation defect is the other name of which one? Frangel defect. In Frangel defect, the small ion is dislocating and it is occupying in the void. That is called what? Dislocation defect or Frangel defect. In the cubic close packing, what is mean by cubic close packing? CCP. In cubic close packing, the unit cell has we are asking you how many tetrahedral and octahedral void. Okay. You know CCP is nothing but FCC. CCP nothing but the FCC system. CCP, cubic close packing or FCC, you know total how many atoms in the unit cell. Total there are 4 atoms per unit cell. So now in the unit cell there are 4 spheres. If you know the number of sphere in the unit cell, you can say how many tetrahedral and octahedral void in the unit cell. We can say that there will be n number. This is their n value. CCP system FCC only. FCC contain 4 atom right in the unit cell. So CCP also 4 atom in the unit cell. If you know that is your n value. If you know the n value, we can calculate what is the octahedral void, what is the tetrahedral void. There will be n same number of octahedral void, double number of 
tetrahedral void in the unit cell. So n equal to 4, so there will be 4 octahedral void and 8 tetrahedral void in the unit cell. What is the answer? 8 tetrahedral void within the unit cell. Option B is the correct answer. Other option you cannot match it, you can check it later. Next question all of you. The edge length. The edge length of the unit cell in terms of the radius of spheres constituting FCC, BCC and simple cubic unit cells are given. We studied, we studied what is the relation. What is the relation between radius and edge length or axial length A for three system? What are the three system? We studied for simple cubic. For simple cubic system, radius equal to A by 2. For FCC and BCC, it is very easy to remember. For FCC system, R equal to A root 2 by 4. For BCC system, R equal to A root 3 by 4. Very important to state. So simple cubic FCC BCC radius and axial length is compulsory to know. Let us take in the proper order. They given FCC first. Okay, let me take FCC. Where is FCC? FCC mean A uh, A root two by four. But unfortunately, because uh, in the option is given in terms of R, so let me make it in terms of here. So A by two or what we can say R equal to R is equal, oh sorry, A is equal to what? A is equal to what? 2R. Here A is equal to what? 4R by root 2. Here A is equal to what? 4R by root 3. Correct. So let me take it. First one is given as per the order, take it okay. FCC. FCC, what is the FCC that is? 4R by root 2. What about uh, BCC? BCC 4R by root 3. What about simple cubic? R. But unfortunately, this option is not correctly given here. Let me convert 4 R by root 2 into something. You know, 4 R by root 2. Correct. 4. How we can write 4? 4 can I write it as 2 into root 2 into root 2? Possible? Yes or no? Root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2. 2 into 2, 4. Okay, into R divided by root 2. One of the root 2, let me cancel. 2 root 2 R. So I can write here 2 root 2 r is to 4 r by root 2 that you can cannot cancel. 4 r by root 3 then 2 r. Can you answer this question? Can you see this answer? 2 root 2 r, 4 r by root 3, 2 r. That is option fourth one. Okay. Simple question. Careful about the relation between r and a. Next question here on. In a phase centered unit cell, FCC, your system is what? FCC. The contribution from the atom at the corner and face center. Very simple question. You know what is FCC system? There will be a unit cell. There will be a unit cell in which what is FCC? Particles are present at the eight corner, eight corner, and the some extra spheres are present at the center of each face. The top face, bottom face, left one right one and the front face and the back face this is the one. and you know that from each corner the corner sphere is directly touching with a nearby total eight unit cell so in the unit cell you will get only one by eight the portion similarly this the sphere which is located at the face center it is directly touching with the two unit cell so half portion getting inside so half portion only in the unit cell so, from at the corner, you will get 1 by 8 the portion. At the face center, you will get 1 by 2 portion. So, 1 by 8, 1 by 2. 1 by 8, 1 by 2. Option 4 is the correct answer. Alright. Shall we go to the next one? Yeah. Solid carbon dioxide is an example of, we discussed the carbon dioxide here on. You know, carbon dioxide, this is the structure. If you calculate the dipole moment, they will cancel each other. Dipole moment is zero. Dipole moment zero means it is called as non-polar. Where we studied non-polar, polar and hydrogen bonded system under the classification of molecular crystal. Molecular crystal we classified into three. Non-polar, polar and hydrogen bonded. Yes or no? An example is very important. Okay. Next one. 
Tetragonal crystal system has the following cell dimension. Dear all, we study total there are seven type of crystal system and among the Bravais lattice 14. So the first system let me tell you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 system. You know the name of the 7 system? Cubic, tetragonal, cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic, hexagonal, hexagonal and we have what? Rhombohedral, correct? Rhombohedral. Let me tell you what is the difference between their axial length. What is the difference between axial length and axial angle alpha, beta, gamma, A, B, C length. You know it's very simple to remember actually except one or two. Cubic means you know all are equal A equal to B equal to C, alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. For the first three system, the axial angles are common, which means alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree, alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Then what about axial length? For the first system, I made all of them equal. Next system, make it one by one unequal. Here A equal to B, not equal to C. Here all are not equal to the length. This is the one. In coming to monoclinic, this same thing you repeat like the previous. Only this thing you keep in mind. Here alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree, but gamma not equal to 90 degree. Coming to the last, the second, the third, last one, triclin. Triclin, no question or no difficult. All are unequal. What is that? A not equal to B not equal to C. Alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree. Hexagonal, hexagonal. Dear student, in triclinic system, all are unequal length, right? Now you make it one by one equal. Means A equal to B not equal to C. Here all are equal. Here alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree, gamma equal to 120 degree. Keep in mind, dear all, except 90 degree, one extra axis, 120 degree, we are studying only in the case of hexagonal system. Last one, rhombohedral means alpha equal to beta, beta equal to gamma, but gamma not equal to 90 degree. So very important to know the seven type of crystal system, this one. Okay, let's go. Tetragonal crystal, where is tetragonal here? A equal to B not equal to C, alpha, beta, gamma, 90 degree. Option B is the correct answer. Correct? A equal to B not equal to C, alpha, beta, gamma, 90 degree. Next to go still. Then here they given the system, they given the axis everything, identify the which crystal system. A not equal to B not equal to C, alpha, beta, gamma are equal. Which system is that? A not equal to B not equal to C, alpha, beta, gamma are 90 degree. What is that? Orthorhombic system. Orthorhombic system. Okay. Just to know the table. How many nearest neighbors are present in an atom forming BCC lattice? They are asking you what is the coordination number in BCC. What is BCC system dear all? BCC system means in the sphere or in the unit cell, in the unit cell, particles are present at the eight corner, correct? Primitive is common in all systems, right? This is primitive unit cell. Other than this, one of the sphere is present at the center of the body, at the center of the body. This is called the word uh, BCC system, correct? In BCC system, what is the coordination number? What is the meaning of coordination number? Number of nearest neighbors or number of touching spheres. You know, this is only to explanation I'm writing very far. Actually, this is a crystal, right? All are very close. So the red one, red one is the at the center of the body. It is directly touching with the how many sphere? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The coordination number in BCC is 8. Coordination number in BCC is 8. Okay, next. What is the maximum percentage of available volume? They are asking you the void. That can be filled in FCC. In FCC system, we studied that packing efficiency is 74 percentage. If you want to calculate the void, just 100 minus 74, that's equal to 26 percentage. 26 percentage option B. 
all right simple simple calculation next what is the coordination number of octahedral void let us study what is the octahedral and tetrahedral void coordination number you know if you consider a tetrahedral void and a octahedral void if you want to make a tetrahedral void you know let me consider three sphere like this now you can see if you are arranging three spheres like this now you can see what is the shape of this void the shape of the you know the name of the void is belongs to because of the size the shape of the void if three spheres are arranging like this you can see what is the shape of the void it is a triangle shape this is called triangular void if you place one more sphere above these three sphere now when you look into the space of the space of the void in between uh, the four sphere it existing like a tetrahedral geometry therefore it is known as tetrahedral void now if you consider octahedral void you need six sphere so three sphere arranging like this two below one above and one another layer let me take it two above one below then if when you look into the middle part middle part the free space structure it will be existing like a octahedral geometry now can you tell me if you consider the octa tetrahedral void tetrahedral void the free space it is directly touching with the how many sphere four sphere therefore coordination number in tetrahedral void is four in octahedral void the void is directly touching with the how many sphere six sphere so the coordination number is six in octahedral void so what is the answer here what is the coordination number in octahedral void that is six okay six is the number next if cation c form very important to know how to write the formula of a compound if cation c form a hexagonal close packing what is the system hcp HCP. You know HCP system. What is the number of atom per unit cell? Six. In a simple cubic system, one atom. BCC and ECC, two atom. FCC and CCP, four atom. HCP, six atom. So HCC, you got the system. What is your system? HCP. How many atoms are there? Six atoms are there. Okay, immediately calculate here how many octahedral void, how many tetrahedral void. Simply, what is the n value here? Six. Because your system is HCP, how many atom in the unit cell? Six atom. So n number equal to six. If n equal to six, how many octahedral void will be there? Same number. How many tetrahedral void will be there? Double number. So there will be six octahedral and the twelve tetrahedral void. Let's go. Can C is occupying HCP, so you got it. There are six car, six C atom. And where is A occupy? A occupy two by third of octahedral hole. A occupy two by third of two by third of octahedral hole. How many octahedral hole you have? Six. So two, two into two four. So there are eight C six, C six, A four. We can make it to the simplest formula. We can cut by two, so it will be C three A two, C three A two, C three A two. Option third one can be the answer. Okay, so whenever they given the system, immediately find remember how many atom in the unit cell. Six atom. If there are six atom in the unit cell, there will be six octahedral and double tetrahedral. Then they, are, they then they will say this much this much uh, term occupied by B uh, C tetrahedral. Well, we can see. Another question. In a spinal structure of O2 minus ion, oxygen ion from an FCC array. So where is oxygen present here on? Oxygen is occupying in FCC system. FCC means what is the total number of atom per unit cell? Four. Immediately calculate how many octahedral void, how many tetrahedral void. How many octahedral void will be there? Same number. How many tetrahedral void? Double number. Finish. You can go here. Where is A occupied? So you already got it. How much oxygen is there? Four oxygen is there. Why? Oxygen is in FCC. How many FCC atom? Four atom in FCC. Now, where is A and B located? A located one eighth of tetrahedral hole. One eighth of 
how many tetrahedral you have here? 8. 8 by 8 equal to 1. Where is B located? B occupy one half of the octahedral void. One half of the octahedral void. 4 by 2 equal to 2. So we are getting A atom 1 time, B atom 2 time. The simplest formula this only, right? What is that? A, B, 2, O, 4. A, B, 2, O, 4. A, B, 2, O, 4. Option 2 is the correct answer. Okay, within second, within second, we can able to find the answer. Next, as a result of short key defect, you know, short key defect means equal number of cation and anions are missing. You know, something missing means definitely mass of the compound decreases, density decreases. Correct. So, density of the crystal, density of the crystal decreases. During short key defect, density of the crystal decreases. F sender in an ionic crystal R. What is mean by F sender or color sender or farben sender? You know that? In a cation anion, in a ionic system, in an ionic system, what is mean by F sender? In an ionic crystal, one anion is missing. One anion is missing and that space is occupied by an unpaired electron. You know, this electron can show, unpaired electron, if it is there, it can show color. We studied that sodium chloride, potassium chloride, lithium chloride crystal, why they are colored. Sodium chloride, what is the color, dear all? It is having a yellow color. KCl having a violet color. Lithium chloride having a pink color. Why crystals are colored? Due to the presence of F center or color center. Correct. The anion, so F center in an ionic crystal are what we can say lattice sites containing electron. Yes, option A. Lattice sites that are vacant, interstitial site containing electron, interstitial site containing. No, not in interstitial site, I told you the, the position which is actually occupied by constituent particle like a molecule, atom, or ion that is called lattice site. From the original lattice site, one anion is missing that vacancy occupied by an unpaired electron. This is called F sender or color sender. Okay, answer is A. Now, what type of crystal defect is indicated in the diagram? Very simple. What overall in the crystal, what happened here? Something is missing. Actually, what is here? Actually, I think it is Na plus. Here also Na plus. Here Cl minus, Cl minus. Correct. This is the actual position actually. But something is missing. Here, what is happening? Two sodium and two chlorine are eliminated. Which means equal number of cation and anions are missing. What is this called? Short key defect. Equal number of cation and anions are missing called short key defect. Next. What is the percentage of free space again? They are asking you the void in CCP, CCP and uh, BCC. Here all, what is the packing efficiency in CCP, FCC or HCP? 74 percentage. In BCC, 68 percentage. So what is the free space? 100 minus 74, 26 percentage. 100 minus 68, 32 percentage. So answer is 26 and 32. 26 and 32, option 2. Okay, next one. The crystal system of a compound with a unit cell A with this, B with this, C with this. Can you identify there is a relation? A and B are equal. 0 0.387, 0 0.387. A equal to B, but they are not equal to C. Right? Not equal to C. But alpha equal to, beta equal to 90 degree, gamma equal to 120 degree. As I mentioned, 120 degree is coming only in the case of which one? Hexagonal. 120 other than 90, 120 degrees coming only in hexagonal system. Now, what is the total volume of atom present in FCC unit cell of a metal? Here on FCC unit cell, total how many spheres are there? Total how many atom? Four sphere. Correct. What is the volume of one sphere? Volume of one sphere, you know how to calculate 4 by 3 pi r cube. This is the equation to calculate the volume of one sphere. So, what is the volume of four spheres? It will be 4 into 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, 4 into 4, 16 by 3 pi r cube. What is the answer? 16 by 3 pi r cube. Option first one. The same question they can ask you with sometime BCC. BCC means total how many atom? So, 2. So, 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube, 8 by 3 pi r cube, like that. 
they can change the system. Next, if A, we discuss the same type of question but another pattern. If A stands for the epsilon, R stands for the radius, for symbol cubic, BCC and FCC, what is the relation between radius and this? Let me tell you first what is the relation we discussed in the previous one. What is the relation between radius and axial length? We discussed uh, for simple cubic system, second one for FCC system, third one for BCC system. Simple cubic radius equal to A by 2, FCC R equal to A root 2 by 4, BCC R equal to A root 3 by 4. Here all we can easily calculate. Here already the options are given in terms of A, so no need to convert. But take the order. First they mention symbol cubic, so A by 2. Second they mention body centered, so A root 3 by 4. And last they given uh, FCC, so A root 2 by 4. I think this option directly not given, right? Directly not given. You know FCC we converted into another format, right? What is that? A root 2 by 4. I can write A root 2 by 4. What we can write? 2 into root 2 into root 2. Root 2 root 2 cancel. A by 2 root 2. Okay. So I can write A by 2. A root 3 by 4. What we can write this one? A by 2 root 2. Now can you identify the answer anywhere? A by 2 means 1 by 2 into A. A root 3 by 4 and uh, 1 by 2 root 2 A. Option A right? Yeah. 1 by 2 A, A root 3 by 4, A by 2 root 2 A. Yeah, correct. Option A is the one. Next. Copper crystallizes in a face centered cubic, that means FCC. With a unit cell edge length, you know, edge length is A 361 picometer. What is the radius of copper in picometer? So now we need to change the value of the length because picometer picometer you know fcc system what is the relation between radius radius equal to a root 2 by 4 what is a value 361 what is root 2 value 1.414 divided by 4 hopefully we will get 128 okay or if you check it that 128 option a can be the answer so numerical also can be expected by using the radius and axial length question if a is the length of the side of a cube, the distance between the body centered atom and one corner atom in the cube will be. Dear all, their system is body centered. What is body centered? We know particles are present at the corner, particles are present at the corner, and one of the sphere is at the center. One of the sphere is at the center. The question if A is the length of the side, you know A is the axial length. If you consider this length, it is called axial length or edge length. The distance between, what we have to find out, the distance between the body centered atom and one corner atom will be. You know this is the center of the inner sphere. This is its radius. This is the radius of the other sphere at the corner. So actually the center sphere and the corner sphere are connected through the distance 2R. Yes or no? R plus R, 2R is the distance. What is the system here? BCC. You know what is the relation between radius and axial length in BCC? R equal to A root 3 by 4. One radius equal to A root 3 by 4. Here what is the total distance? 2 radius. So what will be the 2 into A root 3 by 4. So you can cut it A root 3 by 2. A root 3 by 2. A root 3 by 2. Option B is the one correct answer. Okay. So BCC system, one sphere at the center, one sphere at the corner. Not totally eight spheres are there at the corner, but the question, what is the distance between the sphere at the corner, center and the corner at? Sphere, the radius is R, inner sphere and outer sphere also radius is R, the distance is 2R in between the distance. So 1 radius equal to A root 3 by 4, so 2 radius will be 2 A root 3 by 4, that's equal to A root 3 by 2, option 2 is the correct answer. Next one, yellow color of NaCl, we discussed sodium chloride yellow color, KCl violet color, lithium chloride pink in color, that is due to what dear student? F center. That is due to what? F center or color center. 
which is true for f center f center what is that they impart the color to the crystal f center is mainly related to color color of the crystal the radius of an ion in a body centered cubic just to be discussed now in a bcc system radius equal to a root 3 by 4 radius equal to a root 3 by 4 option a body centered what is the number of atoms per unit in a BCC system? Here all, you know, BCC system means total number of atoms is equal to 2, right? It's equal to 2. Answer is option C. Why? You studied that. Particles are present at the 8th corner. Particles are present at the 8th corner. And one of the sphere is located at the inner sphere. Inner, the right. Inner one. Inner the one. You know, from each corner, you will get only 1 by 8th portion. Total how many spheres are at the corner? 8 sphere. Each corner you will get 1 by 8 portion. Plus, one of the sphere is completely inside. It is not shared by any other unit cell. So, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So, there will be total 2 sphere in the unit cell completely. Answer is C. Which among the following is not true about crystalline sodium? They do not show long range order. That itself is a wrong statement. Crystalline solid shows long range order throughout the crystal system. A proper ordered arrangement is of the constituent particle. What is the correct order of the packing efficiency in different type of unit cell? We study FCC system having 74 percentage, then BCC around 68 percentage, then simple cubic, you know, how much? 52.4 percentage. So, what is the answer? FCC, BCC, simple cubic option, B is the correct order of packing efficiency. Which among the following is an example of network solid? You know, network solid is also known as covalent solid. We studied total example, silicon dioxide and carbon. Carbon means graphite, graphite or diamond, right? Graphite or diamond. So, which among the following is an example of network solid? D, carbon. Which is the, what is the total number of atoms per unit cell in a FCC? Simple question. In FCC, what is the total number of atoms per unit cell? 4. Correct? Which of the following is a, again, network solid? Which is a network solid? Diamond. Right? Graphite, diamond, etc. When we studied sulfur dioxide yesterday, sulfur dioxide is a polar or a molecular solid. A molecular solid. Iodine we studied, non-polar molecular solid. Ice we studied under a hydrogen bonded molecular solid, right? Diamond only the one, covalent or network solid. Ionic solids containing large difference in size of ion show. You know, in order to show short key defect, mainly condition we are discussing in only point to two point defect. Short key defect, the cation and anion should have almost similar size. In frontal defect, cation and anion should have a large difference in size. So, ionic solid containing large difference in size is possessed by frontal defect. Alright? Okay? So, dear all, that is a part to 1, around 50 MCQ related to the chapter solid state. So, we will meet again with a 50 most expected type of question for your same chapter solid state for the part 1 and uh, part 2 for your upcoming term 1 examination. So, we will meet again with the part 2. See you all. Brilliant Qatar, your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.